From the icy roads of Alaska to the bustling streets of Argentina, envision a, a journey through diverse landscapes and cultures. Welcome to the Darien Gap, the missing link in the Pan American Highway. This roadless between Panama and Colombia is a vast wilderness. It's where nature dominates untouched by modern infrastructure. A formidable barrier, the Darien Gap keeps two continents apart. It challenges modern technology, reminding us of nature's potency and human ambitions. So what stops us from building road through this small stretch of wilderness? Let's delve into the mystery. To understand the absence of a road, we first need to understand the terrain. As geographer Dr. Martin Walker puts it, the Darien Gap is a geographer's nightmare. The Darien Gap, located between Panama and Colombia, is a mere 50-mile stretch of land. However, it is no ordinary 50 miles. This expanse is a dense, inhospitable jungle teeming with biodiversity and fraught with peril. Imagine navigating through a maze of towering trees with creeping vines and thorny undergrowth that snatch at your clothing, all while oppressive humidity clings to your skin like a second garment. That's the Darien Gap for you. The terrain doesn't just challenge with its dense vegetation, it also throws swamps into the mix. These aren't your typical marshlands. The swamps of the Darien Gap are colossal, stretching far and wide with thick sucking mud that could swallow a man whole. They are treacherous to cross, posing a significant hazard to any potential road-building efforts. And just when you think it couldn't get any worse, the Darien Gap decides to go vertical. The land suddenly erupts into rugged mountains, their slopes steep and jagged, their peaks hidden in the clouds. These mountains are not just formidable barriers but also home to a plethora of unique species, underlining the environmental considerations of any road construction. Geographers like Dr. Walker have been studying the Darien Gap for years, attempting to unravel its challenges. They've come to the consensus that the Darien Gap's geography is not just a road builder's nightmare but also a compelling testament to the power of nature. It's a place where human ambition meets its match in the face of natural resilience. In light of these geographical challenges, it's not hard to see why a road connecting Central and South America through the Darien Gap has remained an elusive dream. The geographical conditions make it nearly impossible to construct a road without major environmental consequences. It's a classic confrontation between human progress and the need to preserve our planet's unique and fragile ecosystems. Politics play a major role in the absence of a connecting road. According to political analyst Maria Santos, the issue is far more complicated than just building a road. And indeed it is. When we look at the political landscape surrounding the Darien Gap, we find a terrain as rugged and difficult to navigate as the Gap itself. It's a terrain marked by territorial disputes, concerns about national sovereignty, and fears of drug trafficking. Let's start with territorial disputes. Panama and Colombia, the two nations that the road would connect, have had a complex relationship. There's a history of disputes over who owns what and where the borders lie. A road could potentially exacerbate these disputes, leading to further tension between the two nations. Then, there's the matter of national sovereignty. For both Panama and Colombia, the Darien Gap is a symbol of independence, a physical barrier that separates them from the rest of the continent. It's a wild, untamed space that has been left untouched by the hand of man. To some a road running through the gap would be a violation of this sovereignty, an unwelcome intrusion into a space that has been set aside for nature and the indigenous peoples who call it home. But perhaps the most significant political obstacle is the fear of drug trafficking. The Darien Gap, with its thick jungle and challenging terrain, is a natural barrier against the flow of illegal narcotics from South America to North America. A road through the gap could, in theory, make it easier for drug traffickers to move their products northward, exacerbating an already serious problem. This fear isn't unfounded. The United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime reported that in 2023, Colombia remained the world's largest producer of cocaine, and Panama, due to its geographical location, is often used as a transit country. A road could potentially make this problem worse, leading to an increase in drug trafficking and related crimes. So, the political puzzle is complex. Building a road through the Darien Gap isn't just about overcoming physical obstacles, it's about navigating a labyrinth of political challenges, from territorial disputes and national sovereignty to fears of drug trafficking. But these challenges aren't insurmountable. With careful negotiation, diplomacy and planning, it's possible that a road could be built that respects national borders, maintains national sovereignty, and includes measures to prevent it from becoming a conduit for illegal narcotics. 
However, the question remains, is it worth it? Is the potential for economic growth and increased connectivity worth the potential risks? That's a question that the leaders of Panama and Colombia will have to answer. The road through the Darien Gap has become a political hot potato that no one wants to touch. But as we'll see in the next scenes, the political challenges are just one piece of a much larger puzzle. Environmentalists like Dr. Peter Thompson warn, building a road through the Darien Gap would be an ecological disaster. Let's break down this potential disaster into three major components, deforestation, loss of biodiversity, and climate change. Each of these factors intermingles with the others, creating a complex web of environmental challenges that would arise from carving a path through the Darien Gap. Starting with deforestation, it's important to understand that any road construction requires clearing of land. In the case of the Darien Gap, this would mean cutting down a significant portion of the rainforest. These rainforests aren't just any woods, they're home to countless species many of which are yet to be discovered. They also act as the lungs of the earth, absorbing carbon dioxide and exhaling oxygen. Which brings us to the second point, loss of biodiversity. The Darien Gap is a veritable treasure trove of biological diversity. It's not just about the number of species but the uniqueness of those species. Many of these beings exist only in this specific environment and nowhere else on Earth. Losing them would not just be a loss for Panama but a loss for the entire world. Scientists are continually discovering new species in this region, some of which could hold the keys to breakthroughs in medicine or other fields. Building a road through this region could put these species and the potential breakthroughs they may offer at risk. Lastly, we come to the issue of climate change. The relationship between deforestation and climate change is a close one. Trees, as we know, are natural carbon sinks. They absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, reducing the amount of greenhouse gases and thereby helping to mitigate climate change. By cutting down trees for road construction, not only are we losing these natural defenders against climate change, but we're also releasing stored carbon back into the atmosphere. This double whammy effect would exacerbate global warming and make it even harder for us to meet our climate goals. Now imagine all these effects combined. The scale of the potential damage becomes clear. We would be losing a precious and irreplaceable ecosystem, threatening the survival of countless species, and accelerating the pace of climate change. All this for a road? We have to ask ourselves if the potential benefits of such a road, such as increased connectivity and economic opportunities, outweigh these significant environmental costs. It's a tough question and one that doesn't have a clear answer. What is clear, however, is that we need to tread carefully. The Darien Gap is a unique and fragile ecosystem. We need to respect and protect it, not bulldoze our way through it. The construction of a road could spell doom for this delicate ecosystem. The Darien Gap is home to several indigenous groups who have their own views on the road. As indigenous leader, Carlos Dagua states, the road would destroy our way of life. In the heart of the Darien jungle, amidst the thick foliage and the pulsating rhythm of nature, live indigenous communities who have been the custodians of these lands for centuries. The Embera, the Wunan, the Kuna, their names echo in the whispers of the forest, their stories woven into the fabric of the Darien Gap. For these communities, the Darien is not just a geographic area, it is their ancestral home, their culture, and their life. Their history is etched into the landscape, their traditions passed down generations rooted in the harmony of the land. The idea of a road cutting through this living tapestry is akin to severing their lifeblood. It's not just about physical displacement or environmental degradation, it's about the preservation of their cultural identity, their way of life. The intrusion of modern infrastructure threatens to dilute their traditions, their languages, their social structures. It's an echo of a larger global concern, the erosion of indigenous cultures in the face of progress and development. Indigenous communities are not against development per se, but they demand that their rights be respected. The United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples underscores the importance of free, prior, and informed consent when it comes to projects affecting indigenous lands or peoples. This means that any decision about a road through the Darien Gap needs to involve the people who have lived there for centuries. The Darien Gap is also a refuge, a sanctuary for these indigenous communities. It's a place where they can continue to practice their traditional ways of life, relatively undisturbed by the outside world. They fish in the rivers, hunt in the forests, cultivate their crops in harmony with the environment. A road with all its associated infrastructure and traffic would disrupt this delicate balance. 
Moreover, the road could potentially open the floodgates for illegal activities such as drug trafficking and deforestation, further endangering the indigenous people and the ecosystem they rely on. The road, while seen as a symbol of progress and connectivity for some, represents an existential threat to the indigenous communities of the Darien Gap. In essence, the indigenous perspective on the road through the Darien Gap is a complex tapestry woven from threads of cultural preservation, land rights, and environmental stewardship. It's a perspective that warrants our attention, our respect, and our understanding. As we contemplate the idea of a road connecting Central and South America, let's not forget the voices of those who call the Darien Gap home. Their concerns should not be an afterthought, but an integral part of any discussion about the road's future. The road would not only disrupt the environment, but also the lives of the indigenous people. So, we have geography, politics, environment, and indigenous rights all stacked against the construction of a road. But what if we still decided to build it? Let's venture into the realm of hypotheticals for a moment and consider the potential consequences. Imagine a world where the decision has been made to pave a path through the heart of the Darien Gap. The first challenge would be the enormous cost. Experts estimate that the construction of such a road would run into the billions of dollars, an astronomical sum that would require significant financial commitment and international cooperation. Then, we'd face the technical challenges. The rough terrain, the wet climate and the dense jungle would all pose substantial obstacles to construction. There's also the issue of maintenance, keeping the road functional amidst such harsh conditions would be a Herculean task in itself. But let's say we overcome these obstacles and the road is built. What then? Well, the immediate impact would be on the environment. The Darien Gap is a pristine ecosystem, home to countless species of flora and fauna. The intrusion of a road would inevitably lead to habitat loss and a significant drop in biodiversity. The human cost, too, would be considerable. The indigenous communities who call the Darien home would face displacement and a drastic change in their way of life. Their ancestral lands would be disrupted and their culture potentially eroded. Moreover, building a road could also inadvertently pave the way for illegal activities. The Darien Gap currently acts as a natural barrier against drug trafficking and other illicit activities. A road would offer a convenient route for these activities to spread further, compounding the challenges faced by law enforcement agencies. In essence, the construction of a road through the Darien Gap is not as straightforward as it might seem. It's a complex issue that intertwines economic, environmental, and social factors. The benefits of connectivity and accessibility might be alluring, but they come with a hefty price tag. The consequences could be far-reaching and irreversible. In the end, the Darien Gap serves as a reminder of the delicate balance between progress and preservation. It is more than just a physical gap in our global map, it is a symbol of the tension between man's desire for connectivity and the need to respect Mother Nature's own design. Between the lush green canopies of Central America and the vibrant cultures of South America, the Darien Gap stands as an unbroken seal. It is a testament to the resilience of the natural world, even in the face of relentless human ambition. This strip of land, teeming with biodiversity, remains untouched by asphalt, untouched by the roar of engines, and untouched by the steady march of progress that has swept across the rest of the globe. In our quest for connectivity, it's essential to remember that not all connections need to be physical. The Darien Gap, in its undisturbed state, connects us to our primal roots, to a time when we lived more harmoniously with the environment. It asks us to reflect on our relationship with nature, to consider the impact of our actions and to question whether the price of progress is too steep. The Darien Gap also connects us to the indigenous communities that call it home. Their voices, often drowned out in the clamor for development, resonate strongly in the silence of the gap. They remind us of the importance of preserving not just the physical environment but also the cultural and social fabric that binds us together. As we reflect on the story of the Darien Gap, we are reminded that progress is not merely about building bridges and roads, it's about understanding and respecting the diverse ecosystems and cultures that make up our world. It's about finding a middle ground where development can coexist with preservation. The Darien Gap may remain roadless, but it certainly isn't voiceless. It speaks volumes about the choices we make as a society. And perhaps some paths are best left untrodden.